can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, Jess, a lot of stuff uh, coming off a big Thanksgiving weekend. What you got today? All right, so Frontier Airlines will no longer let customers call a phone number in order to speak with a live agent. What? Customers will now have to rely on other ways to contact the airline, either through like the chat bot on their website, a live chat. It's going to be available 24 7. It's social media accounts, or you can even use the WhatsApp, but the call center was eliminated last week. Is that like going to be like a trend with these big companies? They're going to get rid of talking to a lot of people because when I call, all I want to do is hit zero, 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 zero. Right? Actually, you know what? Let me back up. Nowadays, I don't want to call. Nowadays, I, I ask my wife to do like the the chat. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. That's much easier. There's been a few things that I needed recently where I like I needed to speak with someone, and it was the hardest thing ever. That's like calling and the so the MVA or the DMV. So frustrating. The bet, but honestly, the easiest way to do it. I remember uh, years ago when we used to have cable. Mm-hmm. All we had to do is tweet them. Oh. And they will they will get right back to you. <coughs> hey, ha- oh. having a problem with uh, cable, and they'll they'll instant come back to you. That way, you don't have to sit on hold. You don't have to have the phone up to your ear. You don't have to have the earbuds in, waiting, wasting your time. You can just you know you tweet them, they get back to you, or you know you send them um, like a, a electronic. That that's the way to go. That's the real way to go. Hopefully, it'll be that easy. Rather than have to sit on, you know, go through an automated thing. Yeah, very so, frustrating. But I, anyway, I hate calling. Hate, I mean, no despise more customer it. service line. Wow. <laughs> all right. Um, also, we all love to save money, but sometimes shaving a few dollars from your tech accessories, the budget is the wrong move because it only winds up costing you more money in the long run. Chargers, if you don't buy the correct one that goes with your device, you're going to have issues. Yeah. <coughs> me mm. you're right over there i think i need some water <laughs> <laughs> have some of our official coffee inside mm. the bill and jessica show i have like a tickle in my throat and a little <clears throat> i might have to go get some uh, you really you really want to go maybe 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 <clears throat> all right next story <laughs> all right so um families did head out for black friday shopping deals some stores opened up at 5 a.m. Others opened up at 6 a.m. Some people were looking for TVs was the biggest item this year. So hopefully you were able to find some great, great deals. We hung a couple TVs this weekend. You did? We hung one in the living room because we were, it was always sitting up on the, you know, um, stand. And we uh, hung one in Bryce's nice. room. We hung one. Kayla hung one in her room. And Brandon hung one in his room. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Four TVs. They're we all hung, hanging up. They, they're hanging now. And they look so much better. Gives you more space. Yeah. More room. They just look, and it looks good. It looks good. really nice. Yeah, it looks yep. nice. Also, an 11-year-old is being called a hero this holiday season after he saved his two-year-old sister from a fire that destroyed their home on Tuesday evening in Salisbury. Kashana Banks says that the one thing that she is most thankful for this holiday season and this Thanksgiving was to have her children here by her side. She says that she was out buying food in preparation for Thanksgiving when she learned that the second story of her apartment had gone up in flames and she is so grateful for her son. Uh, He actually went inside and got his little sister out of the house. So he is a definite hero. There is a GoFundMe account that has been set up to assist the family. Total fire damage is now estimated at $290,000. No other injuries have been reported. One of the eight units impacted officials say two are not, you know, able to live in due to the fire. And those occupants are being assisted by the American Red Cross. But 11-year-old is a hero in Salisbury. And the turkey trap for the YMCA helped out with the Chesapeake locations. They raised over $135,000. So turkey trotters across the eastern shore they were able to raise that much money for the ymca of chesapeake it was a record turnout it was a great success they broke their record that they were hoping for the money will go for funding youth services programming for seniors and even training exercises and support for cancer survivors but they raised over one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. they had over 1600 runners participating that's awesome uh, anybody see the President Joe Biden photo bomb? Uh, Dan nope. Satterfield from WBOC posted it up over the weekend. 
And this is not a um, Photoshop picture. Dan Satterfield. Here, I'll show you guys uh, watch it on Facebook Live. Oh, my gosh. Were those, like, girls it's taking from a selfie? It's from Nantucket <laughs> Island. Oh, my gosh. And there's a couple of girls taking a selfie, and President Biden came up behind them. Here it is. I'll show you guys on Facebook. I don't oh know if you guys can see gosh. that. Yeah, can you guys see that or not? There you go. But it's President Biden oh, photobombing wow. through the front door in the glass. <laughs> so there you go. Wow. Uh, 641. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got sports on the way. Here's Sweetie. The remix of Best Friend. Good morning. Good morning.